and good evening ladies and gentlemen thanks for joining us today in the 9 month and qc earnings uh, fi24 earnings call of jupiter bank limited on behalf of systematics i would like to thank the management for giving us the opportunity to host this earnings call today we have with us mr vivek lohia managing director and mr sanjeev kesri chief financial officer i will now hand over the call to the management for the opening remarks and after which after that we can open up for the q and a thanks and over to you vivek sir yeah thank you sudeep uh, for the introduction good evening everyone and thank you for joining us on this call to discuss the earnings for the third quarter and nine months of fi24 we are pleased to announce that we have sustained robust momentum in our performance with stellar growth in revenue ebitda and profit after tax for the quarter and the nine months ending december 31st 2023 this performance validates the progress in execution of our strategic objectives as we continue to scale our diverse business lines encompassing mobility solutions in q3 fy24 we reported total income of rupees 90081 lakhs up 39.4% year on year a bit up for the quarter stood at 12480 lakhs up 54.7% year on year the ebitda margin has improved by 140 basis point from 12.5 in q3 fy23 to 13.9 in q3 fy24 this has been driven by enhanced product mix and economies of scale we continue to report an industry leading ebitda margin profit after tax for the quarter stood at rupees 8340 lakhs higher by 79.8% year on year for the first 9 months we reported total income of rupees 2 lakh 54090 lakhs up 86.7% year on year a bit up for the period stood at 34331 lakhs up 113.4% year on year the ebitda margin has improved by 170 basis point from 11.9% in 9 months fy23 to 13.6% in 9 months fy24 profit after tax for the period stood at 22858 lakhs higher by 170.2% year on year The wagon business has sustained a strong performance, enabling us to surpass the milestone of 90,000 lakhs in total income this quarter. Despite losing 10 days of production due to puja and other festivities in West Bengal, as you can see from our presentation, wagon volumes have increased further this quarter, averaging nearly. 850 wagons a month the expansion of a kolkata foundry and establishment of a greenfield foundry at a unit in jabalpur will result in doubling of overall foundry capacity to 5000 metric tons the new foundry at jabalpur is expected to take around 18 months to set up and combined with the brownfield expansion at kolkata will enable us to enhance wagon production to approximately 1000 units per month the addition of the jabalpur unit is expected to result in significant cost savings especially in freight expenses a strategic focus on improving backward into uh, on improving backward integration reducing freight costs and implementing production efficiency measures are designed to further enhance operational efficiencies laying the ground for a enriched margin profile we are we also witness increasing volumes of cb bodies and our jv company jwl covis has witnessed a ramp up of hubs to the export market in an eventful quarter from it was an eventful quarter from the perspective of order wins The wagon business won 
orders of over rupees 2200 crores from government of india as well as private customers this includes a substantial uh, rupees 1600 uh, 1617 crore order from indian railways a 473 crore order from defense ministry and a 100 crore order from the automotive major for four sets of double decker automotive carrier wagons aided by our global partnership we continue to introduce pioneering technologies to the mobility sector in india additionally we received an order value at rupees 112 crores for the axle mounted brake disc system in our jv company jwl daco cz india reflecting our strength and expertise in wagon and associated component manufacturing with these wins the aggregate order backlog now stands at rupees 7076 crores another meaningful development during this quarter was the successful conclusion of a second round of qualified institutional placement amounting to rupees 403 crores by issuing 1 1 crore 28 lakh 6595 new equity shares to qualified institutional buyers which includes prominent investors like tata mutual fund hsbc mutual fund bandhan equity fund and fii's like society general and coptal mauritius investment limited our business of braking systems and brake this are uh, scaling as expected with anticipation of a significant uptick in execution and performance through fiscal year 2025 instilling confidence in the brake business in electric mobility we await ai ari arri certification for our elcvs with scheduled commercial launch in the fourth quarter of this financial year in december 2023 acute upgraded our long term and short term bank rating to double a minus and a1 plus respect fully indicating enhanced credit quality and reduced default risk this positive assessment reflects improved financial standing providing a stable outlook the tailwinds for our business are likely to sustain with government likely to sustain expanding on infrastructure in the vote of account presented yesterday honorable prime minister has indicated plans to establish three significant corridors aimed at addressing congestion issues in existing rail lines primarily in the eastern part of the country these commodity specific economic rail corridors are designed to facilitate faster freight movement reduce turnaround time and lower logistic costs for mineral and cement corridor and a high traffic density corridor this will be in addition to the eastern dedicated freight corridor which was completed during the quarter and undertook its first commercial service on november 1 In addition to this initiative the finance minister revealed plans to convert 40000 normal rail bogies into vande bharat to enhance the safety convenience and comfort of passengers furthermore key rail infrastructure projects such as metro rail and namo bharat will see expansion into more cities contributing to the overall development of country rail network we anticipate a sustained growth momentum in the demand for wagon passenger coaches and metro coaches this continued thrust by the government supported by great greater investments and participation by private sector is leading to accelerated investment into the rail sector and rapid scale up of demand for wagons and accessories we are well poised to capitalize on this opportunity and our optimism is grounded in our impactful partnership cutting edge technology strategic global expansion and a solid order book we can now take up your queries thank you thank you very much
We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchtone phone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets only while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants are requested to ask two questions per participant so that each and everyone on this conference gets an opportunity to ask their questions. The first question is from the line of C.A. Garvid Goyal from Invest Analytics. Please go ahead. Hi, so am I audible? Hi, uh, yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Congrats for a good set of numbers. Uh, my first question is on the uh, commercial EV side. So, whether the testing has happened for the same? And uh, I think you mentioned uh, some delays has happened on this side. So, what is the reason for the delay that is one? And secondly, are we still intact on selling 5,000 to 6,000 uh, vehicles in FY25 uh, with an approximate revenue of 300 to 400 years? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, there is no delay in our rollout plan. We have always mentioned that it will be in the last quarter of uh, this financial year and uh, it is as per our uh, targets. The vehicle is con currently under final certification by ARI and we are expecting the certification very shortly. So, in terms of uh, the rollout, there is no delays at all. Uh, in uh, the volumes, I don't think we have uh, given any uh, forward-looking projections on, on volumes. So I think just after post-rollout only, we will be uh, able to give any indicative volume. But right now, we have not given any uh, volume projections. So uh, do we expect any kind of revenues from EVs for in FY25 or uh, it will not be there? No, definitely. If we are launching the vehicle by end of FI24, definitely FI25 will see a, a good set of revenues coming in from the EV business. But however, uh, we have not given any kind of indication on the revenue numbers. So will it be profitable in the initial year? I think, uh, you know, it's two forward-looking uh, questions. I think like once the rollout happened and then uh, we will take it from there. Uh, understood, sir. And coming to your brake system part, so uh, we are doing it via JV called Dhaka and subsidiary Stone India. So uh, can you share the uh, Balpak order book that the Stone India is having right now or uh, what are the developments happening in their own and uh, what is the outlook for FY25 in brake system segment? So again, FY25 outlook is very strong. Uh, as I had mentioned in my last call, uh, we were expecting sizable order books for the LHB brake systems. We already have got an order book of about 115 crores from Indian Railways. And we are going to be starting the execution in, in the coming quarter. Uh, again, as I have projected, the brake business in FI25, we should see revenues of anything between uh, 400 to 500 crores. That is uh, uh, that is from the Sony India and the JV. I think it will contribute to your bottom line, right? No, I am talking about the brake business all put together. Would we are looking at a revenue of 400 to 500 crores in FI24, and as uh, we have mentioned that over the next uh, three years, we expect the business to be about a thousand crore business. Understood, sir. And one last question on the order book. So, uh, we are having 7,000 CR kind of uh, orders. So, can you give a break up in the terms of uh, what is, uh, what, what portion is uh, no, sir, towards the... Mr. Goyal, uh, may we please request you return to the question queue for any... Just last question. Uh, I think it is almost completed. Just last. So, uh, we are having order book 7,000. So, I just need the break up uh, in the terms of wagons, commercial bodies and uh, CMS. Uh, uh, Garvit, uh, we would like that you send the email to us, but then we will provide that. Right now, we are not carrying the uh, the breakup of the order books. Okay, sir. Okay, I don't, I don't wait. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, sir. And congratulations on a very good set of numbers. So my first question is on the recent tender, which uh, Indian Railways have floated, and we have won. Uh, 
Hello. Really apologize for that. Uh, the current questioner seems to have uh, dropped from the queue. The next question is from the line of uh, Mr. Bala Subramanian. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Uh, thank you so much for taking my questions. Uh, sir, we have raised the uh, QIP of 403 crore. Uh, like, uh, how much we have utilized till now and what are the plans for that? And uh, on that uh, CAPEX side, uh, like, uh, what are the, how much we have spent in this quarter and how much we are focusing in the next two to three years? And we are doing uh, CAPEX, uh, 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 like, uh, specifically for this uh, Jabalpur plant on the foundry side. And uh, uh, this, how much, uh, like, uh, cost benefits uh, we can expect uh, in the next two to three years? Yeah, hi, Varash. Uh, this is Sanjeev. Uh, we have raised the, under the QIP around 403 crores, and the bifurcation already given in the PD. Uh, on the utilization side, around 90 crores has been utilized uh, uh, against this QIP amount. On the CapEx side, uh, the CapEx is going on, uh, but uh, the, on the payment side, it has not been done to the uh, parties because the work is under the progress. Uh, so. In next quarter, we will uh, give you the exact number what the, uh, against the CAPEX we have done. However, as per the regulation, uh, the utilization certificate will be get uploaded uh, in a, within a two or three days. So you will get the uh, details from there itself. And in terms of our CAPEX plan, we have been, uh, we have already mentioned that in the next two to three years, we plan to do over 1,000 crores of CAPEX. And that will, uh, as uh, mentioned, uh, that will result in, uh, you know, additional capacity of wagons. So right now we are doing approximately 800 wagons a month. And our target is that with the additional capex, we will go up to about 1,000 wagons. And definitely on the brake system side also, we are expand expanding the brake business. So we'll be doing additional capex there. Too. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, on that uh, CMS uh, side, like uh, uh, earlier the volumes have been restricted because of the uh, foundry side. Like, uh, uh, like uh, how, how we can expect on the improvement on CMS side uh, because of we are doing CAPEX on foundry side also? Yes, so uh, as you mentioned in our call, we have already undertaken a brownfield expansion on the existing foundry which we expect to be completed in the next three to four months. I think post that expansion, uh, definitely you will see uh, volumes of the CMS crossing improving significantly. Already the volumes are better, but definitely still, uh, still we are constrained on the foundry capacity. But I think in the, uh, in the, on FY25, I think by quarter two FY25, you will see a significant jump in those numbers. Okay, sir. So, like, what will be the uh, railway and private mix in this quarter on the vacant side? So, it is about, right now, order book is about 60, 40. 40% 40 is uh, Indian. Indian railways and 60% is a private order book. Thank you, sir. I'll come back in. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Congrats on a very good set of numbers, sir. My first question is, uh, uh, on the, the recent tender which was uh, put by uh, the Indian Railways uh, and where we have got around 4,000 wagons. Uh, so my question is, why the recent tender were undersubscribed? And... Uh, uh, and any comment on the competitive intensity in the in the tender? So honestly, uh, we cannot speak for our competitors. So uh, uh, we had bid for uh, in, in in the uh, in the tender given uh, the capacity which we had available since the supply had to be done at a, in a very short period. So we had uh, bid for four thousand wagons and uh, we got that order book from Indian Railways. And any uh, any comment on the surprising? Uh, uh, it it uh, the pricing is as per our expectations, and uh, we will continue to uh, maintain the margins uh, what we are projected on the pricing. Understood, sir. My second question is, sir, how do you think about the opportunity from Indian Railways, especially for the wagons for the next six to twelve months, 
and we do i do understand that there is one tender which is uh, which is uh, which are floated by the indian railways for for the modern wagons and which is supposed to supposed to be uh, uh, supposed to uh, be uh, uh, conducted in the month of march uh, are we uh, do we have the capacity to produce the modern wagons and are we participating no, in tender definitely we have the capacity to produce the modern wagons wagons and we are uh, serious bidder in, in that tender uh we as you are aware that we already uh, tatra by gonka who is the leading producer of freight cars in europe is already a partner and uh, uh, and a promoter in jupiter so uh, they have all the requisite uh, technologies available so definitely we are looking forward to that and besides that uh, we see quite a robust demand from indian railways there is Uh, there are two tenders right now in the pipeline for about uh, 30 not 1000 wagons uh, which are uh, which are ongoing besides that our expectation is that uh, anything indian railways uh, would require as per their projections would require anything between uh, 20 to 30000 additional wagons in in the coming one year understood sir my last question on the private wagon inquiry side sir how is the inquiry from private wagon compared to let's say a few year uh, a few quarters i'm asking the question because the election is coming up is it is it slowing down some kind of inquiry from the private wagon side i uh, know we or uh, we see a very robust demand from the uh, uh, from the private sector itself and i think quarter on quarter we are seeing the the demand to become more robust uh and and our private order books have not slowed down so uh, i don't think uh, elections uh, will have uh, any impact on this because these are all long term uh, cap everybody has long term capex plans and the elections will not have any impact and as the honorable prime minister uh, honorable prime minister has said has already said that we are seeing uh, private capital coming back in a big way so uh, uh, we don't foresee any let up on the demand is it right to say that gpwi scheme contributes uh, maximum to this private wagon order as of now i again i would not say it contributes maximum but yes uh, there was a, a definitely a sizable and uh in flow from from that particular scheme but besides that also there is a, a sizable demand from uh, non gpws wagons understood sir thank you and all the best sir thank you thank you a reminder to all the participants please limit your questions to two per participant in case if you have any follow up questions you can rejoin the queue The next question is from the line of Nishant Parikh who is an individual investor please go ahead uh, so congratulations on great set of numbers my question is regarding the 10000 global tender of wagons that uh, they going to be bidding for so you had said in the annual report that these wagons will be more specialized in advanced nature and the average price will be higher so i just wanted to understand what is the average utilization are looking at and do we have any prototype of such wagons ready that's my first question so uh, yeah as i have said that these are uh, completely uh, different designs from what right now is flying on on the indian railways and definitely they will have uh, in terms of uh, loading capacity they will have better loading capacity the bogies also are going to be much more modern on these wagons so uh, as i mentioned that uh, we are looking uh, at uh, being uh, new designs and qualitative products so we are expecting good margins out of of that order book and uh, again to give any kind of uh, margin any further you know details right now on the tender would be very difficult correct correct and uh, one more question sir this uh, one more thing this order the stand of 10000 wagons will be given to only one player or it will be distributed among multiple players like how it happens no it will be given to one player and it has to be executed over 5 years okay great great all the best sir for this upcoming tender thank you, thank you.
Thank you. The next question is from the line of Atif Shah, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Congratulations on a great set of numbers, and thank you for the opportunity. Um, so I just had two questions. Um, one is on the expansion of our wagon capacity to 1,000 wagons a month. So I mean, I, I'm confused. Are we going to reach 8,000 wagons a month by the end of this financial year, or is it only possible when the Jabalpur foundry comes online? Uh, no, we are going to, our target is to achieve uh, before the Jabalpur foundry comes online. Okay. Definitely we are looking to do that. Once the Jabalpur foundry comes into line, then uh, it will, uh, it can be more in, uh, entrenched and then uh, you, we can have much better backward integration on it. Yes, and my second question was uh, regarding wheel set manufacturing. Uh, like you had mentioned earlier, we are seriously looking into it. So do we have any timelines, capex plans or anything in place or is it still under strategizing phase? No, it is still under strategizing and as and when uh, we finalize on our plans, we will announce the same. All right. Okay. That's it from my side. Best of luck. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vikash Vijay Vargia from a country. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Good evening. Uh, hello. Yes, your audience. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah uh, in uh, the Q2 con call, is our Kolkata foundry capacity is increased from 2,500 to 3,000 metric tons, and simultaneously as our wagon capacity 700 to 800 wagons. Correct? Uh, no, we are already doing 800 wagons. The idea is that we want to further enhance capacity, and uh, as I mentioned, that before end of this year, we we are targeting to reach about 1,000 wagons on the same foundry capacity of 3,000 metric tons in Calcutta. Yes. Uh, and uh, in the property in Jabalpur, is it 2,000 metric tons? Which is common, might be 15 to 18 months, correct? Yes. And regarding this one, is it EV mobility? You know, last time mentioned about this one, is it testing schedules is a normal 23? Whether it does. No, we had not mentioned November 20. We had always mentioned that the vehicle will be launched fourth by quarter. the fourth quarter. No, no, yes, and correct. Commercially launching is a Q4, FY24, but the testing side is a November 23. Yeah, so that is as per uh, schedule. As we have mentioned that it is, uh, we are awaiting final certifications from ARI. But testing, I mean, it's complete, I mean, certification is not completed. Yes, yes. Okay, testing is done at our end. Yes. And we expected commercial launch in uh, next in this quarter itself. Yeah, by end of this financial. If it is a certification and everything is, goes well. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Gagandeep from Invest Analytics Advisory LLP. Please go ahead. Hello. I'm out with. Yes, yes, you are. So, uh, we are uh, we are uh, reaching a capacity of 1,000 uh, wagons per month by FY24. That will take care uh, for our order book in FY25. So, what after FY26? Uh, are we any uh, plan? Do we have any plans related to expansion, further expansion of the wagons capacity? Again, uh, you know, very uh, difficult for us to comment right now. But definitely, we are, as we have mentioned, that we are en enhancing our, our foundry capacity substantially. So definitely we are creating the pipeline for the same. So uh, beyond that 1,000 number, uh, it will depend on 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 the order flows uh, which come in, in in the in the next two to three quarters. Understood. And so uh, in our JV Covis, uh, we did something called hubs. Uh, can you put some color on it? What the product exactly is, and how much uh, JWL Covis did in first nine months ever 24 in revenue terms and pattern? Again, I don't have the numbers readily available with me. So hubs is part of the breakdowns which we are exporting, and uh, I think in the coming quarters we are ex uh, uh, we have now got substantial export order books, and the export business in the JV will see a substantial increase. 
and uh, for the uh, new set of castings uh, we will see much more uh, bigger uh, and uh, uh, much more complex castings uh, being exported out of it so when you mentioned we are having some uh, export orders of hubs so are these figure is included in 7000 order book or it is it is a separate figure no uh, th th that's a separate uh, or group oh it is no it is included in the 7000 Okay, sir. Okay, and the brake system order of 115 CR that is also included in 7000 uh, for the book. Hello. Yes, it is included. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir, and all the best for the future. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In order to ensure that the management is able to address questions from all the participants in the conference, please limit your questions to two per participant. Should you have a follow-up question, you can rejoin the queue. The next question is from the line of Pankaj from Effluent Assets. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks for taking my question. So, in answer to one of the part, uh, participants earlier, you mentioned that you are, you are, we are we will be increasing our capacity from 100 wagons to 1,000 wagons. So, if uh, did, did I uh, hear it right? No, from 800 wagons which we are doing currently, I said 2,000 wagons. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, does it mean that our, uh, our revenue potential increases by around 25 percent from here? Yeah, definitely. As if the wagon production goes up, definitely it will have an impact on the revenue. Okay. Uh, secondly, sir, just wanted to understand we are uh, how sustainable are our margins, given that we are. Drawing around uh, uh, double mid mid uh, teens of margins, whereas our competitors are struggling to reach even uh, double digit margins. So, uh, where do we uh, get this different differential margins? And uh, yeah, that, that's that's from my side. I think that is a mix. Uh, see, as you mentioned earlier, one is that we are very focused on our backward integration. and efficiencies of operation i think that's where uh, uh, our focus is and that's where we stand out from co our competitors and secondly if you look at the order books uh, on a continuous basis our the private order books and uh, are, are much bigger and we do more specialized uh, wagons which are which have higher margin profiles i think it's it's uh, and then obviously now we are adding uh, much more higher technology products such as brake systems which again uh, carry uh, better margins uh, in our profile i think it's it's a mix of all these aspects okay and lastly if i could squeeze in what are uh, other Sorry, than this capex uh, pankaj sir could you please uh, return to the question queue for the follow up sure. question thank you the next question is from the line of parvez kazi from nuama group please go ahead Uh, hi, good evening, and congratulations for a great set of numbers. Uh, so, two questions from my side. Uh, you said that on the wagon side there are two tenders in pipeline from Indian Railways for thirteen thousand wagons. Uh, did I get that number correct? Uh, yes, uh, Pravin, uh, you got it absolutely right. So, uh, one tender is for the new age wagons of ten thousand wagons. So. it is uh, besides that this is besides uh, if you include that it, it is about uh, 23000 wagons okay so the second tender of 13000 wagon uh, i mean is it similar to the 11 or 1000 wagons which railways uh, awarded recently uh, it's a completely new design of uh, wagons has got uh, the designs are separate So the tender for 12,000 wagons of of that particular design, and there are two small tenders of uh, 500 each. And then there is obviously the new age wagon tender of 10,000. That is in addition to these. That is in it. Great. Uh, the second question is uh, just wanted to get some update about Stone India. How are things progressing there? So the pro progress on Stone India is as per our expectations, and as we have mentioned that by beginning of. Uh, FI 25, we will be commencing uh, commercial operations in that company. Sure, thanks. Uh, and last question for Sanjeev Ji. 
uh, sir, would it be possible to get the gross debt and the cash numbers at the end of Q3? First debt and cash numbers at the end of Q3. Uh, the gross debt, if you see, we are, we are uh, net debt free uh, because uh, uh, the around 300 crores is the uh, short term borrowings we have right now in books. Against that, around 500 crores is lying on the liquid cash we have. And uh, uh, this is the number, so we are net debt free. Sure. Thanks, and all the rest of the time. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Anay Mittal from Invest Research. Please go ahead. Hello. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir, you are. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, I will ask only one question, sir, but I would request you to spend some more time on explaining this uh, question. See, uh, we are not, as investors, long-term investors, we are not seeing you as a wagon manufacturer, right? We are, as you rightly pointed out some time back, that you are a mobility player, correct? From you are, or you are transforming yourself from being a wagon manufacturer to a mobility player, right? So, uh, I am coming from the point of uh, de-risking uh, your revenue model from depending on railway, uh, uh, railways orders or orders from railways to being a consistent uh, company uh, churning out revenue and growth on an year-over-year -year basis. So, what is your strategy on that, sir? We can see that you are uh, entering defense, you are getting into LCD on EV sides, right? So, if you can spend some time explaining uh, how we can see you as a mobility player rather than a, uh, a man, uh, wagon manufacturer. Thanks. Thank you. I think uh, you have highlighted most of the uh, the products. So, as see, right now, primarily, definitely, wagon is, is our, our, one of our key focus areas. And we see a lot of opportunity in this segment in the next uh, three to four years. Uh, uh, we see a lot of robust demand and and the uh, and the segment uh, growing year on year. However, on the other side, we are already into manufacturing of commercial vehicles, into manufacturing of containers, and our idea is to take that business forward. So we are launching our first line of ELCVs, and the idea is that in the coming uh, one or two years, we will have at least uh, three to four vehicles from uh, one ton payload all the way up to uh, five ton payload. So that will give us a substantial present in that se uh, segment. And the ELCV segment is growing at a very rapid pace. Even if you have uh, honorable finance minister in a budget, uh, it is one of the priority sectors again for the government of India and uh, they are very focused on developing this segment. Uh, besides that, again, uh, ex uh, we, as uh, I mentioned earlier, that uh, right now focus is to add products which are uh, which have a high level of technology, and the brake business is one of the uh, ways through which we are introducing these products. They are not only meant for the Indian market, but they they will be also exported. Uh, to the global market and we have already started that process and you will see over the next year, two years that a substantial part of the revenue of the company will be coming out of exports. Uh, we already have a MOU with rights where we are already working on a lot of uh, export tenders and we expect results very shortly. So the idea is that obviously it will take uh, some time for you to see the results, but in the next, in the coming year or two years, uh, we expect that uh, more than 50% uh, of our revenues come out of uh, of non-wagon business. That is how we are strategizing ourselves as a company. Thank you. The next question is from the line of uh, Devesh Kasliwal from Antique Stock Broking. Please go ahead. Uh, hello. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, so the, in the last photo that you had mentioned uh, that you had uh, you were L1 in a, in an export uh, wagon order of, of around 600 wagons, if I'm not uh, wrong, and you were expecting it in this quarter. Uh, just to follow up on that, uh, 
like have you got that order and the opportunity size going forward uh, in the export business uh, in terms of number of wagons every year or a percentage of the order book uh, no we have not got that order as yet but it is uh, what we can understand is that it is uh, in the final stages of uh, of deliberation so we expect it very shortly again uh, right now we have participated in 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 tenders for about close to uh, 3000 odd uh, wagon order books so uh, you know these numbers will uh, you will see uh, some export order books uh, flowing soon uh, okay the and the second uh, question was on the container business uh, like uh, it has seen a big growth in this 9 uh, month period and uh, if i'm not wrong uh, we're planning to uh, focus on the other businesses uh, even then how do we actually look at this business going forward for the next uh, two years if yeah. any, uh, you know as i mentioned on my other uh, the fo- uh, our focus is now on 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 specialized and high end containers so that's why you see the uh, revenues uh, coming down but the margins have improved and uh, now uh it took us some time to uh, you know get the prototypes approved and 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 get the infrastructure ready for uh, these containers and these are containers which are being produced in india for the first time so in uh, next uh, over the next financial year you will see substantial uh, growth uh, now in, in in this segment and now uh, we have quite strong and robust order books so you will see growth as well as uh, good margins Okay, so thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Indrajit Chakraborty from Script Trading Corporation. Please go ahead. Uh, Namaste, Mr. Lohia, and everybody present. <clears throat> I just have a, a small clarification question, uh, which is you said that you are having this 10,000 global uh, wagon tender. So uh, when would we expect that thing to be finalized? Can you give you some piece on that? That's all. Uh, when it will be finalized, honestly, you have to go back to Indian Railways for that. But the tender is supposed to open in in uh, sometime in February. But so, uh, when is going to be finalized? Yeah, the global tender only is supposed to open in February, uh, sometime. but finalization is honestly not in, our, in uh, that is something which you have to uh, ask indian railways okay okay no no i just was okay okay i thought it was already getting finalized or something like that okay, no no it was supposed to open in february okay okay so thank you very much thank you the next question is from the line of mehul mehta from nuwama pcg please go ahead good evening team thanks for the opportunity my question is uh, in earlier uh, response to a question you answered that like you know in terms of non wagons business we should be looking at like you know about 50% of business from non wagon business going ahead so is there any planning on that part to enter into passenger trains as well so definitely that is one segment which we are looking at and we are in discussions with a uh, couple of global players Uh, and as and when something materializes we will be announcing that and will it be like you know in terms of like you know entire like you know the way like you know a jv with any player like in to enter passenger trains or uh, in terms of passenger train components or like you know it would be on both sides we can look at so components we are already in the component business as uh, your web brake system we are already supplying uh, we are doing certain other components such as couplers uh, the brake this but uh, so we are looking at uh, supplying complete train sets right okay thank you and one more question last is that uh, in terms of working capital cycle at uh, december end could you share like you know dates creditors and inventory number uh mr mehul uh, if you could please uh, send the email we will share that because uh, this is not in the result so i am not carrying that uh, number with me got it thank you i am done thank you the next question is from the line of akash from the lal and broacha stock broking please go ahead hello 
yes uh, yeah thanks yeah thanks for the opportunity sir uh, my question is more on our uh, focused on our break disc and break system business so initially you know we had uh, guided that you know both businesses combined will be generating a top line of around 100 odd crores this year and will scale up to uh, as good as 250 odd crores next year so how well have we done on that front and uh, if you could share some color uh, on how these businesses will be shaping up in the coming next two years one two years so what i mentioned was that on the break this we expect to uh, do a revenue of 100 odd crores this year and uh, we are in lines for the same on the on the break system business uh, i clearly mentioned that we will be getting uh, orders uh, in this financial year and which will be executing over the next uh, financial year and as you can see that we have already won an order book of uh, 100 crores so as i have mentioned earlier in my call in next financial year overall on the big business we are looking at revenues of anything between 400 to 500 odd crores uh, of which exports also will form a, a sizable part got it sir and uh, second question was relating to you know the new impetus that yesterday's budget gave for you know replacing all the bande uh, the normal bogies with bande bharat bogies mm -hmm. so will we benefit uh, out of that in some way definitely because we are uh, supplying a lot of critical components uh, as brake systems and couplers and other such components so definitely it is something which uh, we are uh, going to benefit uh, substantially from and uh, we are uh, looking ahead for the tenders to come out for these conversions Got it. So, is our current order book on one day, uh, break system or uh, pertaining to one day bar? Uh, no, the current order on break system is pertaining to the LHB coaches. But uh, for in terms in break this, we already have orders for one day Bharat, and on the break system, we are already uh, our our prototype is uh, is. Uh, on the process of of getting ready and uh, we will be getting into the segment very shortly got it sir any any guidance on how these two businesses will shape up by fy20 last question last question this is just a follow up on as i told you you know, the next 3 to 4 years we are looking at the break business to be about a 1000 crore business for us so uh, we are very very uh, bullish on 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 the segment and uh, again as the rolling stock population goes up not only the oem business but the replacement business as well as the maintenance business you will see a substantial uh, contribution coming from all these segments that's great to hear sir thanks thank you ladies and gentlemen we would take that as our last question for today I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Yeah, uh, thank you. I appreciate everyone's participation in today's call. The ongoing momentum in infrastructure development nationwide continues to provide a strong tailwind. The business outlook remains strong with a large backlog of orders for wagons. supported by increasing traction in new areas. We anticipate further scaling up across business lines. of break this and breaking systems too we look forward to interacting in the next quarter thank you thank you thank you on behalf of systematics institutional equities that concludes this conference thank you for joining us you may now disconnect your lines